Welcome to TTT Boxing in association with IFL TV and Boxer. Here we have Paul Showtime Fleming, fresh off the back of his KO win here tonight. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Thanks very much. Very impressive win there tonight. Looks like you just wanted to get business over and done with. Was that the, the game plan or? Yeah, look, it's it's whatever whatever I feel and whatever the corner feels, like my team feels, you know. Uh, uh, I'm usually the one on the counter box and roll, but in, in the first round, as you've probably seen, he was a bit tentative to attack, so Bill said we have to go forward and pressure him. And, we did, and you know, it's not usually my usual style, but I have, you have to do what you have to do at times, so you know, I've got the job done. Absolutely, and that takes you to 21 and 0 now? 21 and 0, 14 KOs now. So. Excellent, so what's, um, what's the plan from here? Is there a roadmap in place as to where you want to be? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, we've got a fight in November, a date hasn't been set yet, but it's uh, on a top ranked show. Uh, it's either going to be in Macau, America, or Dubai, I've heard. So just waiting, uh, first on focus on getting my, my, my partner's about to have a third baby, so three weeks away from, from now. So, you know, get this fight out of the way and then focus on that for a few months and then get a good hard 12 week camp and uh, defend my WBO Asian Pacific title there. And, just move forward about the rankings. Excellent. So um, a very busy year ahead for you then with a newborn and uh, so hopefully carrying on that path to a, to a world title. So with that with that WBO regional bat, are you going to stay on that path and, and get, get out those rankings and get that world title shot that yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, currently number nine now. So we just got to keep winning, keep moving up. Uh, they're going to step me up against a, uh, a, a top 10 or top 15 guy uh, next fight. So it's something that I've wanted for yeah. a while, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes uh, for a fighter to, to get motivated for, for these small, but when you're at the level that I'm at, looking to fight for world titles, you want them hard fights to test yourself, so it's hard sometimes to get motivated for these smaller fights, but you just got to dig deep and do it, but, you know, November, I'm really looking forward to November, really testing myself and in there with the top guy, and we, you know, we, we know the the champ is Roman Martinez, so we got our eyes set on him, and you know, just keep winning, keep moving up the rankings, and get that shot by mid to end of next year. So he's definitely a, uh, one of the tougher champions out there. Um, yeah, you know, the, the super featherweight the division is, 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 a, is a tough division. You know, you got you got Uchiyama, um, you got Mira, the guy who just uh, beat my teammate Billy Dib. Yeah. Uh, you got uh, I forgot who the IBF champ is. He just he just won it not too long ago, and then you got Roman Martinez, and he's I think. This is the third time he's held the belt, like he's won and lost it, won it, and yeah. then lost it and won it back again. So, you know, uh, he's, he's a tested champ, so, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough fight, but that's what we're in this game for. We're not here to cherry pick opponents and that, you know, we, we as everyone does, to build their record at the start, but now it's the business Time to part. step it up. And do you think that'll be, do you think we'll start to see you fighting abroad a lot more often now than, than fighting in Australia? Yeah, yeah, well, at the time before I had a little bit of a break, I was like Ford Macau on the very first Macau show, uh, and I had plans to fight back on that show a few a few other times, and and then I was going to fight on the Pacquiao Rios card, but just circumstances, you know, my 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 like, this will be my third baby, so I've got I've got two under, I've got this will be three babies under three and a half I've got, so when my second one was born there was a few complications and he was really really sick, uh, so I had to step away and take some time for my family first and have, end up having 18 months off and coming back to the end of last year, so you know, I had, I had opportunities to fight, but just the time wasn't right, but now I feel like I matured as not only a fighter but a person, and uh, getting my seat, feet settled in here now that I've moved back, and you know, there's, there's some big plans ahead for us. There's going to have to be some, uh, a couple of world titles maybe if you're going to keep paying for, uh, for all those children. Man, that's for sure, they're, they're, not, they're not cheap, but it's all worth it, you know, so, yeah. Excellent. So another win for the Body Punch Gym there tonight as well. So that's four from four tonight. Yeah. How? What's Billy Hussein do that's different to, to everyone else? And, and what's he done to, to build up the you know the, the quality of fighters that he's got? He's not a part-time trainer. He's a full-time, 23-hour-a-day trainer. I think at the, I think 24 because he dreams about it <laughs> when he sleeps. So like in all the years I've been training with him. I always think that he's done like this, he can't pull out something new. And boom, a session comes and you're doing something that you've never done before. And he's, 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 like, he's a scientist, he breaks everything down like it's, 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 it's beautiful to watch, you know, when, you sit, when you're actually not training and you sit back watching him take guys through, it's, 
just everything is to the T correct. Every little movement, every little centimeter of your elbow out that way and it's wrong and your hands here, your feet need to be half a centimeter turned this way. It's just like yeah, it's poetry, you know what I mean? And uh, that's what makes him the best in the business. And, and uh, you know, it's a pleasure to have the opportunity to train with him. And, you know, I made the big move many years ago. And, and uh, you know, uh, and then I moved back to the coast. And then uh, when I had that 80 months off, and then I'm like, I, I can't train anywhere else but here. Like, I, I, can't, I can't do it. Like, I couldn't. If I, if I wasn't training with Billy H, I, I wouldn't train anywhere else because I know he's the best in the business and I know if I'm training with anyone else I'm not giving myself the best opportunities to be the best so you know, that's why, why I, I, I train here and, and I'm thankful that Bill, Bill gives me an opportunity to train there. Definitely and say the, you know, the raft of quality fighters he's got, he's obviously doing something right. Is there, is there anyone that you've seen in the gym that maybe we haven't seen or the people at home haven't seen a lot of to, uh, to maybe keep an eye out for? Ah, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's always like uh, Billy Dibb's brother, Yusef, he's a really good amateur, really top amateur and uh, he's like one of the best in Australia, um, you know, and he just narrowly missed out on, on, on winning the Nationals just just recently and, uh, you know, he's going to grow as a fighter and uh, I, I, see a, I see a big future, big future with him, uh, you know, there's, there's Dylan Emery, which you've seen in action tonight and, I really rate, rate him coming from you know the little experience that he's had to where he is now, and you know he's 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 a workhorse, you know, and he's he's someone that will uh, that will over over 10, 12 rounds will 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 give a guy good guys a lot of trouble. Uh, Matias, as you've seen today, uh, he's just we call him uh, we call him Gaddy in the gym. He looks a bit like Victoria Gaddy, and he and he flies like him. And, He's, he's just a relentless, yeah. relentless fighter, and uh, as you've probably seen tonight, you did, and uh, you know, I dread sparring him, you know, especially being so small, it's hard to keep him away. Um, then you've got Tony Senior, an uh, Irish guy in the camp, uh, super awkward, like one of the most awkward fighters, but it works for him, like, he kind of almost like a Sam Solomon kind yeah. of style. Yeah. But it works for him, you know what I mean. And he, he's a he's a he's one to watch out for. And you know, uh, there's, there's there's guys coming up and there's guys there. And we the best thing about our gym. There's no egos. There's no drama. Nothing. Everything is just harmony. It works so well. Everyone respects everyone. There's no beef. There's no nothing. You know, you get the 12 year old kids when they walk in the gym. The gym filled with 30 people, and I shake everyone's hand around the gym before they even put their graps on or anything. Everyone shakes everyone's hand, says hello and we get the business so it's just a pleasure to train at such a such a gym and run professionally and it, it's yeah. Well, it certainly comes across a eh, fighters keep winning, and, and there's always the, the rest of his stable always out supporting whoever's in the ring. So, um, you know, it seems like a great feel from, from the gym and a great cool community going on there. So, long may it continue. Look, I know you need to go get showered. You just had a fight, and thanks for taking the time to come speak to us. But uh, wish you all the best, and so hopefully see you back out very soon. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Cool show, Tom Fleming. Thanks. thanks.